Hello my amazing fans and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time we left off after a marvelous shootout in uh, Valentine. Uh, let's see. Map. <coughs> and... Yeah, and Valentine. Bounty, $60. Great. Well, anywho, um... As you, as you can see, uh, as I'm looking around the camp, everything is, has been taken down. Oh well, most of it. And now it's time to ride, so we're going to talk with Dutch. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. You're gonna trust I'm Micah? Freak, he said. Hmm. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into oh a Oh boy. Son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now we'll uh, great. Hey, Javier. Evening, Arthur. Damn, I need to stop playing uh, Assassin's Creed for a while, because it uh, messes up my controls. <laughs> Every time I want to ride faster, I'm gonna take on R2. Lancaster repeater and the sniper rifle. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him one in the head south. Mm. Nah, you know what? Let's stick this one. And I know by now there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. It goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before? Put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one. Which guarantees even more trouble. Whoa. All right, so far, nothing bad has happened. Yep, me too. You see it? Someone on the ground there. All right, but first, uh, let's. No. I need to fill my dead eye. Ah, that's better. Yeah. 
Well... He's been shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Hmm. Come, be careful. Man, be careful. It's okay. It's okay. Come out of there. You okay? I don't mean no harm. He said, Are you okay? Oh, great. Um, no. Now go on, get out of here. Go, we need the land, go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men, last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Luther. Warten Sie hier. Wir kommen zurück. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There, tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. No. Ah. Uh, oh wait. This was it. Ah yeah. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breeding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. What are you doing? So, back to what you were saying. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think. You do. Think this is the right way? Give me a second. There we go. Okay. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. They picked the wrong man there. <laughs> Let me check this. Look, they go along the shore there. I said. So, yeah, uh, where were we? We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Uh, that kid, mm. it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. This is the way? All right. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. <laughs> uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If this John's idea it must be a good one. Hey, hmm, what picks. is you and him? Uh, he did 
disappeared on us for a while. Wait, just let me make sure he's right. This way, I think. They carry on along this trail. Now, at the gonna take this one already. The Jack was real young, a long while. Year, he did. And we was family, you know. I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a cap up ahead. Easy. Careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Where? Oh, there. Quick. Cut him free. Let's get out of here. Helfen! Shooting you. Why the hell you drag us into this, Charles? Oh, hell no! That all of them doesn't look like it. Oh, great. More. Gotta love the Lancaster repeater. Ich komme, ich komme. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Ja, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. No, 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 no. Ah, wrong button. Again. <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm totally disorientated. Well, alright. I'm gonna loot these corpses. Alright. Here we go. Alright. So, Charles is gonna get uh, Dutch and the gang over to this area and we're just gonna return the German to his family I'm not sure what they were planning to do with you but Meine Deutsch ist also ist also nicht ist nicht äh, ist also nicht allzu gut. But I try. <laughs> uh, I live in the Netherlands and my German is terrible. I mean, <laughs> it's quite stupid. And I live in the region of Limburg, which is exactly next to Germany. So I shouldn't even I should even be more ashamed that I don't know the language. But but then again. Germans have a way of uh, ah. 
Andreas, Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. das ist wahr. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Oh, gold bar. Sick. Well, like I was saying, I mean, Germans have a way of uh, adapting to other languages compared to another country in Europe, which I shall not name because it's just like, ugh. but um, they just refuse to speak English with you. <laughs> If you know what I mean, you know. <laughs> Well, with that being said, let's continue the game. Enough about politics and different countries. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Nice. Let's hope we don't have to ride every time. Put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Chapter 3, Clemens Point. Ah, yes. I think I played the game up to this point in my very first uh, tryout of the game itself. And around this point, I... Well, that's why I actually stopped originally. And now I'm going to uh, play the entire game. For you, my fans. For you. Alright, I think it's time to shave the beard a little bit. Not all of it's going away, because I feel naked without a beard. Do 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 do. Ah, Kieran, yep. Uh, where can I shave, shave, shave? There is no ammo at the moment, right? Nope. Okay. What you want, Micah? Oh. I'm just being civil, my brother. Well, hello there. You really are a very charming man, aren't you? <laughs> oh, wait. Here we go. Shave. Um What's this? Ah, yeah. Trim. Oh, facial hair. Alright, this is naked. Nah. This is the length. Hmm, reminds me a bit of my beard. Speaking of which, I should go uh, and make an appointment in the, in the, the somewhere this week. Right. Awesome. Do -do 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 -do. I think it's time we should uh, get some more uh, from the ledger. Uh, let's see. Uh, contribute. Yeah, contribute. And get some more ammo for me and some food. Uh, give item. What do we have? Oh yeah. Holy shit. Alright, then I don't have to contribute anything uh, else besides those items then. Alright, that was awesome! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah. 
there we go some real firepower oh sure this one all right uh, we, we got something for chickens I uh, think I'm gonna save the rest for later all right all right Dutch what do you got for us the new south How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny What's in and up down here my daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now I'll give you that, but come on. We got All right. Ready. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of thick. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long way. Always green, crushing, bubble burst a few. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Oh, boy. <laughs> Fun fact, if you're unaware of this, uh, the gang started with the three of us Dutch, Hosea and Arthur Dutch as the leader Hosea as the second and uh, Arthur as the main enforcer if I'm correct of course ah see Spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. All right, so all right. Turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Oh? 
Oh, so we need to shoot him? Nah. <laughs> Country you have here, we like it well enough. Trelawney, your service, Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet McGregor. you. McGregor, you Scott? <laughs> Partly the best part, <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy pop pack there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Oh, boy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make them. You sure I can't just shoot them? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. On. See if you can get alongside the train. Yep. <sighs> My hand is going numb like with all the pressing. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on that? Uh, come on! Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Not for, for fuck's sake. Where the hell are you going? You need to get alongside it. I'm busy. Up. Uh, Just in time. I'm busy. Oh, come on. Well, no 
don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Oh boy. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. For what now? <laughs> Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you what? go. Uh, what you about the others? All right, let's take him. Follow me. What about the others? Yeah. Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. <laughs> well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. <laughs> I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. The du Dutch has asked again. Okay, check. Okay, his name is kind of funny, because um, I uh, <laughs> recently watched the movie Rob Roy, Robert Roy McGregor. Uh, <laughs> his uh, enemy in the movie, his name is Archibald Cunningham, but his name is Archibald McGregor, and Archibald Cunningham versus Ro Robert McGregor. See the link I'm uh, <laughs> I'm uh, <laughs> telling you. Very reputable saloon owned by mm -hmm. the family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? What is wrong with this place? <clears throat> Just bring him here. Hey, fellas. Iswa. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. No more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. To make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Uh, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Bo, these better be <laughs> ugly rooms. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town behind the church. It's 
horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, falling out, rebel gold, marrying cousins, not marrying... Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take months to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. Mm -hmm. There's talk of super agents. Some super agents. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Now let's see what we can do. Okay. So these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Oh, sure. Oh, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? Kinda like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Sure thing, boss. Sure thing. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. <laughs> Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so... We pick up some supplies, I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vandalin, I said, <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawneys. What a terrible thought. <laughs> Easy. Isn't this the train station where we... Yep. <laughs> so, you're going back to see that Sheriff Greg? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that day. Oh! Damn, that hurt. So, I 
like you were saying before? <laughs> he didn't sing the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. This is the spot. Down to the left there. All right. Some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. What? Looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You can come for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. Now take us to the water. Break for good luck and stupid fish. Alright, let's see how this works. Stupid luck and good fish. That'll do too. I just hold the X. Keep going. Gentlemen, should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure, that'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with good old worm? Oh, uh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. I think that's a bite. There, hook him. Fish on the line, Arthur. <laughs> Almost, come on. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Well, it Told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Good job, Arthur. Got him. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, oh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh yeah, you do. He was maybe 20, 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, 
So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. That's on the hook, Arthur. I used to go fishing with this fella back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge. And out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Got one. Arthur's got a bite. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Kaka went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, yeah, it's the spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, not to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. As a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those six <laughs> spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I like it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Ha! Got ya! Looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Just gotta reel him in now, Arthur. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Hmm? Apparently <laughs> so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. I loved her in my own way, and she, me, in hers. But somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Not bad, Arthur. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the back. Not sure how long they want to continue this, but uh I got a bite. There we go. You hopped him. Well, I think I'm gonna if nothing else is gonna happen in uh for now then i think i'm gonna end this video and then i hope to see you again upcoming friday and with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video and then see ya